everyone we are back reunited alhamdulillah this time in nigeria abuja guess who's driving us not crazy but who's driving us assalamu <laughs> <laughs> alaikum warahmatullah guys no i told them they asked me at what point do you drive your own vehicle in a country i said if you visit 17 times the 18th time you drive your own car so mashallah i visited 36 times so i, I can drive Allah two cars Akbar. mashallah mashallah la quwwata illa billah so we just visited, mashallah, Majlis Al-Ulama. This is a gathering. All the scholars and the muftis and the du'at of Nigeria, they meet on Thursday night. And it has become a regular uh, routine that every time we visit, uh, mashallah, Nigeria, especially Abuja, we have to visit with them and exchange some mashura and some ta'aleem. Beautiful, beautiful ulama, mashallah, all the scholars of Abuja, Allahumma bari. We just finished and we are on our way to the venue to meet with the volunteers of tomorrow's event, the event of this uh, weekend in Abuja, which will be about changing the narrative. Uh, it's a continuation of another event which we concluded last weekend in Lagos. And yesterday we were in Kaduna, mashallah, an amazing event. The turnout was so beautiful. I will let Meng tell you about it. And after the Kaduna event, we had an event in Abuja. We flew back and went straight to the university called Bayes University. I thought it was Baze University, but it's actually <laughs> Bayes University, B-A-Z-E. And uh, subhanAllah, we had a massive turnout with one speaking on addictions and, you know, haram and so on and what. And mashallah, mashallah, it was just amazing. I was not supposed to go to Kaduna in the first place. But then schedule changed. I went to Kaduna and uh, because I wasn't, you know, uh, part of the event subhanallah they didn't introduce me but then somebody took the stage and introduced me subhanallah Adim. guess who no look the, the reason why I introduced him is because <laughs> you see people need to know who they're talking to where Correct. they've come from Correct. who they are in order Correct. to understand the value of the person and the message it's not mm -hmm. I mean Wael Ibrahim did not come all the way from Perth to Abuja or Nigeria or Kaduna just to, in order to so he didn't come to have a break and a holiday. He came to work and mashallah in his field, he is one of... He's much needed. Yes, in fact, he, I think he's the only guy that I know on that level who really speaks about these uh, behavioral addictions and porn and so on, which people are, are really, they need guidance and they need help. A lot of people reach out for so much of help. Who's helping them? So that's the reason, Habibi, why I did the right, introduction. Right. Just and, so and, people and understand who is speaking to them. That's what awesome. it is. And there's something also for everyone to know that we are not in competition. We are complementing one another. We are doing the work of Allah. May Allah the Almighty keep this group. Allah. This is a very unique group Allah where Allah. we actually favor one another over our own selves. As, a, as we all were walking into the uh, Majlis Al-Ulama, I was surprised that Mufti Ming said, you're the only one who's going to speak. Why? He said, we have made a mashura and we decided you're the only one who's going to speak. SubhanAllah, in Ghana, we did similar things where we said, Mink, you're the only one who's going to speak or represent us. May Allah the Almighty purify our hearts Amen. and keep us all united. Amen. This is what is most beautiful about this unique group where it doesn't matter who speaks, it doesn't matter who raises the banner. What really matters is that the banner is already raised. By whom? It doesn't matter. And uh, we've been here uh, like for it doesn't matter who's driving. <laughs> it doesn't matter who's matters driving. a lot. <laughs> and by the way, I do have a seatbelt on. Muddathir, if you can just show the guys. You see, because it's under my shoulder because of this uh, scarf, it seems like I don't have a seatbelt, but it's right you here. Sure, Look, you here sure it's, it's not a tie? No, 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 it's plugged in. No, it's plugged in. Come on. It's not a tie? We, we've no, no. been here almost for a week, but uh, the unplugged session was delayed. Uh, why is that, Mufti? Why we didn't? Uh, the movie maker was not here. Yes, <laughs> our brother Muddathir. You have to bring his name. The swimming pool criminal. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was not here, you know. Oh. Mashallah, mashallah. We could have done it, but we really missed him and we decided we're not going to make another unplugged episode until without, he arrives. Without, and he just without. arrived today, alhamdulillah. Mashallah, la illa billah. So where are we going right now? To we're, meet the volunteers. We're going well. to meet the volunteers for the event and mashallah there is a little uh, banquet for them. And uh, again, uh, we'll probably choose a few people to speak. By the way, we have a few other scholars whom I am meeting for the first time and some of our brothers are meeting for the first time. Inshallah, we'll try and see if they want to participate in the Unplugged as well. And Inshallah, we'll introduce you guys Excellent. to them by the will of Allah. By the uh, way, Mufti Mink, yes. you know, you will see a stop sign 
and read right there. This is not a Coca-Cola sign. That's <laughs> oh. a stop sign. <laughs> oh, wow. Subhanallah. The way they wrote it. Because we boycott Coca-Cola anyway. <laughs> Allah, Allah, Allah. Mashallah. Look, this look is at the this national masjid. masjid that we're going to pass by. It's a beautiful masjid with four minarets. No, no this is not the national masjid. Isn't it? National masjid. Habibi, like this is another oh. one. Yeah. What masjid is this, Ahmed? This, is, this one is the one that you created. Oh, I'm so sorry we didn't. This is my masjid? Ah, this, yes, it's the one. I'm that giving the khutbah here tomorrow, tomorrow inshallah. Yes. Yeah. What's the name so of this masjid? This one is uh, Sunnah uh, uh, Faisal Masjid. Yeah, I gave the khutbah oh, here last year. That's right. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. We, we have forgotten totally, and this is really, I'm, I'm be, you know, I'm to be blamed for that. We have to introduce Ahmad Adhama. Yes. MashaAllah. This he is brother is Ahmad such, Adhama. He is, he is such a very our, our brother, beautiful he brother is, from Nigeria, he where is, we meet everywhere. Mashallah, mashallah. And he had two alarms. Oh no! <laughs> See, can I, tell, can I tell you guys the story? <laughs> Say what so, Dr. Muhammad, <laughs> so Dr. Muhammad came to Abuja and you know what? He was... Uh, no, Lagos, it was not in Lagos. In Lagos. Was in Lagos. So in Lagos, so he came to... Uh, in Lagos, we were sleeping and <laughs> we all agreed... 24 hours of, of traveling. staying awake, yeah. And we all agreed that we would meet in my room uh, at a certain Salat time. At Salat, at quarter to six, Salat al-Fajr, everyone will come to my room and we'll read Salat al-Fajr together. So Dr. Muhammad, uh, firstly, I set my alarm for 5.30 thinking that, you know what, I'll get up. 5.25, someone rings my, someone knocks my door. It was Brother Ahmad Adhamai and he came in for Salah. So I, I was thinking he's 20 minutes early, but mashallah, it was a good thing. Next thing, Dr. Muhammad and everyone comes, we do Salat al-Fajr and Dr. Muhammad says, you know what? Someone's alarm went off at 2.30 or 3. Room and, next door. And the room next door to me and it was just going on and on and on. And I got, I, I had to get up and I had to <laughs> knock on the guy's door because he just didn't turn the alarm off. So Ahmad casually looks at him and says, oh, so it was you who knocked on my door. <laughs> and you know what is funny? And he ignored it. He set up two phones alarms. Yeah. And they keep going Ring. off, ringing, he, he ringing, and ringing. Yeah. <laughs> Subhanallah. And he still doesn't wake up. He's enjoying the sound of the alarm while asleep. So between him and me, there is a door, you know, sometimes they have those suites where he can open the door. I didn't know who is my neighbor, but I just thought, you know, come on, man, I need to sleep. <laughs> so I got up and I knocked on but his door, hopefully that, that he Muslim. will wake up, but in vain, of course. <laughs> and it wasn't the no, but actually, last time. No, to be I'm honest with you. It, it's the fault of the hotel because the hotel should have room that is soundproof, you know? <laughs> Allah, you know, sometimes in these hotels there are not soundproof. Some of the sounds we hear are embarrassing. You know, yeah. Sheikh, and, Sheikh, you know what is really funny is how I was telling you my terrible experience after 24 hours of traveling and I couldn't sleep because of the guy next door. And then he says, it was me. Allah, Allah, <laughs> Even Allah. though we came together, we're flying together. Yeah. And the way he said it was me, he says also you were the one banging on my door. <laughs> well, what it taught me is Brother Ahmad gets up very early. May Allah accept all our ibadah and may Allah make us all people who actually fulfill tahajjud and who are there for Salat al-Fajr even earlier than the time. And what it taught me as well the, that he doesn't care when the alarm uh, goes off. The, the next day. I didn't have to own the alarm. He's the one that called me and wakes me up. MashaAllah. <laughs> he was trying actually to, distru to disturb <laughs> the alarm. <laughs> MashaAllah. Barakallah. Wallahi, so mashallah, this is a, these are the roads. If you want to see the roads in Abuja, uh, in front of us is just a security van. If you can see, he's got his hazards on. I turned off the hazards in order not to make a sound uh, uh, for our video. But uh, these are some of the most beautiful roads of Abuja. And Alhamdulillah, you know, it's just amazing. I enjoy the drive here. And, you know, it's uh, the rule. People don't really stick to rules as much, although there are rules and they do relatively stick to it, but not that much. Uh, they are a little bit strict now and again. Some of the places, mashallah, uh, here is traffic. We're just about to hit traffic. I think we may go on to the side, perhaps if the, the security that is escorting us decides Habibi, to do that. Uh, Habibi, I'd like to add that since uh, we all remember our uh, brothers and sisters in Palestine that mashallah, every day and every event, we ask the congregation to pray and we pray and we take the lead. We pray for our brothers and sisters victory and may Allah alleviate their suffering and may Allah have mercy uh, on those who have been, uh, who have been martyred yes. among them and uh, those who have, wo have been wounded, may Allah give them speedy recovery, and may Allah make them victorious. So they are in the heart. 
I, I have a suggestion. Yes, sir. Can we dedicate one of the unplugged sessions takbir, for Palestine? Takbir, oh, takbir, oh, Allahu Akbar, Akbar. inshallah. We are waiting Azzajan. for you to announce. Yeah, you see why I'm saying this is because we all have done a lot. And mashallah, some of us have done more than what people may know. I'm talking all meaning everyone no. across the globe, but because of our frustration, we all feel that the other person has not done enough. Correct. That's a sign of frustration. But don't let that frustration make you hate on one another. Wallahi, you don't know what someone else has done. And the worst thing you could do is out of your frustration, you call someone a Zionist, you call them pro-Jewish, pro-this, you know, these guys are, you don't know what they've done. So don't let your frustration make you disunited to the degree that you start calling people dirty all. names. And it's not the time for all of that, inshallah. Yeah. So, so I think we can dedicate one of our sessions yeah, totally and only for the Either issue of tonight, Palestine. Either tonight, if we get through early, or inshallah, tonight tomorrow, or tomorrow after inshallah. Tomorrow, inshallah. 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 Or maybe tomorrow after Fajr, perhaps. Bismillah. Or have okay. film in tomorrow. Barakallah fiqh. So, Barakallah fiqh. so yeah, we will see you guys. Uh, what did we want to say? I wanted to mention about the the issue regarding uh, Bayes University, Bayes University yes. mashallah. So Bayes University, brother Wael Ibrahim's, uh, uh, you know, uh, program was advertised in a beautiful way. And uh, I, myself and Dr. Muhammad were supposed to go to Kaduna. We were supposed to go there and come back. And Wael Ibrahim had another event at Bayes University in Abuja. So he was not supposed to come with us. But mashallah, you know, one of the brothers decided we'll take you with a private jet instead of going by road. So it saved a lot of time. So we, uh, we told Wa'il Ibrahim, let's all go together. We, uh, mashallah, we went and he had an opportunity. We cut our time. Instead of one hour each, we decided we will just speak for 30, 35 minutes each. And uh, we let all three of us speak. Now, mashallah, look at the traffic, subhanAllah. So we spoke and we came back. When we came back, Dr. Muhammad had a live event uh, on, online, so he couldn't join us. But I said, look, I'll join you. We'll surprise the, the people uh, at Bayes University and I'll just join you uh, for this particular event of yours. I might say a few words, you know, but we'll keep it a uh, secret. Uh, we'll keep it a surprise. So one of our brothers was excited and he informed one of the organizers, you know, Mufti Mink is coming. And this was like, 20 minutes, we were on our way, 20 minutes before the event. Yeah. And unfortunately, the organizers, oh, in their excitement, we want to change the venue, we want to do this, we want to go to another hall, we want to this. And you know, uh, Mufti Mink is coming and so on. So when I heard that, wallahi, I heard about it just uh, about 10 minutes later. I was so upset because I said, firstly, it's not my event. Secondly, I'm coming to support my brother. Thirdly, it's wrong to change venues and all that. Last minute, the public that has come and they've come into the, the, the hall and so on, and you're telling them, let's go because, you know, now we're going into a bigger hall. And so, all that was unnecessary. So, alhamdulillah, the uh, organizers decided we're going to keep it at the same uh, place because, because I told them not to change a thing. And then Alhamdulillah, we went, it was such a superb event. You know, it was so beautiful. The, 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 the boys and girls were super delighted and so happy. And, uh, to, you know, to hear Wael Ibrahim uh, in his unique way of uh, presenting a topic that is very sensitive, but bearing in mind the sensitivity, still he came across and he, he really did a brilliant job. And I, I, I then got up and just said a few words of thanks. It's not, like I said, it's not my event. Brilliantly beautiful mashallah tabarakallah your presence add a lot of value and some people may think oh because Mufti mashallah. Bing came along then you know he steal the show and so alhamdulillah not a single thought of that kind entered my mind or my heart I was so excited in fact when you heard that somebody told that he's coming he wanted to go back to the hotel I said no way there is not a chance Achy. yes Achy. the reason why I wanted to go back to the hotel I can explain to you is because Habibi, I'm also, I know between us, we don't have that. But the thing is to discipline some of the, you know, some of the volunteers and some of the people to say, listen, if you hear something within us about a discussion and you know that this is supposed to be private, mm -hmm. you don't go around spreading things. And the brother is a lovely brother. Beautiful. He's an amazing, superb human being. But, you know, people can make a little bit of a blunder. So for that reason, inshallah, I don't think he would do that again because he, he understood what we tried to say. And at the same time, it was a good event. Uh, the reason I, I said that, imagine if it was someone else and the same mistake happened with a third party. People can feel hurt to say, oh, this guy's coming, stealing a show. That's why I told him, look, I don't even need to enter this hall. I can go away because by right, you know, I wasn't even supposed to be here. Although I know between us, uh, there's nothing like that. But, you know, inshallah, may Allah accept it from all of us. No. Oh, and in grant fact, us acceptance. Uh, in fact, alhamdulillah, Allah has created 
such a beautiful and a strong bond and love between us. Allah knows that when I get up at night to pray, I pray for you guys. Allah. I include you in my prayer. May Allah uh, and Almighty. other dua and ulama, alhamdulillah wa shukrillah, because Allah has chose you, has chosen you for this mission. And uh, the prayer does wonders. And you guys get tired, you travel a lot, you get really exhausted, you experience fatigue. And many of us are actually sick. So we need the dua. We pray for each other. We pray for the audience. We pray for the public. And you two guys pray for us. Please. Because the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu an, was going for Umrah, and the Prophet didn't join him, so he said, Ya Akhi, my brother Umar, please include us in your prayer. So it is very important to pray for one another. It does multiple uh, benefits. Number one, it eliminates any envy, any hasad, any discord from the heart when you pray for someone. Uh, number two, of course, the dua for others in their absence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appoints an angel to say, Oh Allah, accept his dua and give him likewise. So when I pray for mink in my sujood, I'm actually Allah. praying for myself. When I pray for wa'il and for others, and even for the dua whom I've never met, when I see, mashallah, Allah has given them access to influence the public and to bring them to tawbah and to doing good deeds. I'm very happy. I'm very happy and delighted, alhamdulillah. So I include them in my dua. We pray for each other. A dua does wonders. And it purifies the heart of the invoker from anything against the people whom you are praying for. Once again, it doesn't really matter who speaks, who presents, who raises the banner. What really matters that the banner is always raised by me, by any of my colleagues, by any Muslim. Alhamdulillah, mission is accomplished. May Allah. Right. Don't want to bore the audience for longer than that. No, inshallah. more than oh, anything, brother Mudathir's hand is, seems to be a little bit <laughs> shaky. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Ashallah. I think uh, he's getting used to it. We're building his muscle, you know. Make muscle dua, and... make dua, Mufti yeah. Mink. May Allah bless Make dua. Conclude Allahu with a beautiful Allahu dua. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Please. Uh, Allahumma salli ala nabina Muhammad wa ala ala nabina Muhammad wa ashabihi wa barik wa sallim. Allahumma rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam tawfir lana wa tarhamna lana kunna minal khasirin. Allahumma ansur ikhwanana al-mustadhafina fi Filastin. Allahumma ansur al-mujahideen fi Filastin. Allahumma ansur ikhwanana al-mustadhafin. Allahumma ansur al-mazlumin ya ilaha al-alamin. Allahumma kulli ikhwanina. Allahumma ansurhum. Allahumma zalzil al-arda tahta aqdami a'daihim wa a'daina ya qawiyu ya azizu ya adhal jalali wal ikram. Allahumma arina fihim. أياما كأيام فرعون وهامان وقارون وأبي بن خلف آمين اللهم ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكوننا من الخاسرين أمسينا وأمسى الملك لله رب العالمين اللهم إني أسألك خير ما في هذه الليلة وخير ما بعدها وأعوذ بك من شر ما في هذه الليلة ومن شر ما بعدها لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين صلى الله تعالى على نبينا محمد والحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين جزاكم الله خيرا